Hi, this is Rachel with TLC Inspiration, and today we're going to do a quick video on how to change your color. And if you learn this way, you shouldn't have to do it any differently when you're doing a matching yarn. So just focus on this way, whether you're doing a matching or a contrasting yarn, um, and then you only have to learn one way. You can see that I'm working in single crochet. So what we're going to do is we're just going to insert under a V like we normally would. We're going to pick up our old gray yarn and on the final yarn over, we are going to pick up our new yarn, which is going to be purple. Okay, and we're just going to pull that through, if I can get through my multi-yarn strand here. And then we're going to kind of tighten it from the back so that we have an even yarn. Um, and then we're going to just single crochet the rest of the row so that you can see why this is an important way to do this. Okay. The reason it's important to come out the top of the stitch like we did on the final yarn over is because you end up, your last stitch ends up being a full color of your old color and the next stitch ends up being a full color of your new color. So this is going to be true, this way of changing color is going to be true for all of the taller stitches, double crochet, triple crochet, etc. Um, and you'll do this whether you are mid row or at the end of a row. Um, common color changes are made at the end of the row for say stripes and stuff. When I get to the end of the row, I'm going to do the exact same thing and come out the top of that stitch, but I'm gonna do it before I do my turning chain and that is the only difference. Uh, so that's it. Uh, that was a quick video. I think we're at two minutes. So uh, thank you for watching and see you on the next video.